Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the reading vlog. Before we begin, a few things. One, um, I got a new mic. Very exciting, we love it. But we're also a little bit stressed because new mic means new audio settings. So apologies if things sound a little bit weird. I'm still figuring out exactly what the best settings are. So bear with me on that. <laughs> two, I, uh, wow, I was very excited too. I got um, new dry shampoo, which is, you know, great, exciting. Um, everything's exciting apparently, but it's like the powder and I used way too much. So one, my hair kind of feels like I have chalk in it. Um, but also if it looks like I have intense dandruff, which like, you know, nothing wrong with that. But I mean, that's that's what's going on. It's a lot of uh, dry shampoo powder that I, I tried my best to get rid of, but I feel like it's still clinging on for dear life in the strands of my hair. Okay, is that all? Is that what I had to preface before talking about, about fourth wing? It's time to talk about this goddamn book. Oh my God, fucking fourth wing, man. Um, this, I've been meaning to read this since it came out. I like how you say meaning to, as if like there's anything in my way outside of just my own procrastination. Like I keep on forgetting or something, but the time has come or the time already came because I have, I have already read this future Katie, but the Katie you're about to see in a few minutes has not yet read it. Um, duh, this is a vlog of me re- I, <sighs> I'm getting all flustered and I don't know why. All right, we're gonna pop, pop this right back to, to Luna. Sailor Moon fans, sound off in the comments below. This, this book, um, I'm assuming that you know what it's about because it has been everywhere, just everywhere. I mean, the buzz around this bad boy is insane, both good and bad. I mean, we've got lots of cute little bumblebees, love and life, and then we've got hornets coming for blood. Which one am I gonna be? <laughs> Time will tell. Although if you are familiar with my channel, you know that fantasy and romance and therefore romanticy is um, my trash. So the odds of me not enjoying this, pretty low, but don't wanna spoil the, the uh, ending to this reading vlog. I don't know. Speaking of spoilers, there's so many in this vlog. I I share everything about this book. So if you have not read Fourth Wing and you don't want to be spoiled, please stop watching. But uh, if you have read it, or even if you haven't, but you don't care and you, you know, you want to hear all the tea, then please keep on watching. I'd love to have your peepers on this here video. I think that that's all that I needed to discuss with you before we dive in to the reading experience of this book. I hope that you're doing well. I'm standing very odd right now. Obviously you can't really see me, but I'm, I feel like I'm standing giving a class presentation. You're great, we're great. Let's just get into it. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Hello, um, this is my sister. This is Megan. Hi, I'm Megan. A uh, long time no see. It's been a very long time since you've been on my channel. I know, I was on a long time ago and I had I had straightened my hair, so yeah. I basically am a new person. First sentence challenge, right? Back when my camera yes. was fucking horrible. So we've upgraded. It is Thanksgiving and Megan made a lovely not Thanksgiving meal, which mm -hmm. I appreciate. I'm not a big Thanksgiving food gal. She's celebrating. I actually with am. I'm very into Thanksgiving food. <laughs> well, we like, already did it. We yeah, already had it. We had an early Thanksgiving yeah. and Megan is tomorrow celebrating with her husband's family. This, you know, this is the fourth wing reading vlog. Both Megan and I have wanted to read this book. I mean, because everyone has read it. Yeah, we um, are the last people to have to read this. Yeah, I'm very worried that the hype is gonna kill this for me. I just, I usually like, I'm not a difficult reader to please. I guess I'll put it that way unless it's general fucking fiction. Oh, I love general fiction. I hate general fiction. <laughs> a bunch of people talking about life and not doing much. Uh, One of my fave, fave. I hate it. You're right, I can only look at that. I'm like- I know, it's, it's really so hard to, to look, look at, at them. Okay, too. sorry. Anywho. Yeah. Uh, the I genre mean, was made for you. Yes. So that, I think that's it. Like those of you that like love fantasy romance, when like a breakout fantasy romance comes out, you want it to be for you. Yeah. But I guess with all the hype, there has been so much criticism of this book too. Like there's there's some video like on YouTube where it's like fourth wing is worse than cancer. And I'm oh. like, that is, oh. that is a title. Also, that is like, I don't think that you can say That's that. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> so people really hate it and people really love it. I am convinced I'm gonna love it. Yeah. I have like zero concerns about not yeah. liking it. 
I feel like I haven't read a book in a while that I like can't put down mm -hmm. and I feel like that's gonna be this and yeah. maybe I'm wrong but I have really high hopes and I'm very excited yeah this is like one of my favorite things that you know is anything set at a school Oh, and I yeah. believe this is a school, right? <laughs> it is, this yeah. is a school it's setting. Like a, yeah. It's like a dragon and, in college. And I am just like, <laughs> I am, this is my cup of tea. So yeah. I am like, I that is love, very true. I love school stories. Yeah. It uh, just must stem from Harry Potter or something, but uh -huh. I love people at school. We're going to get reading. We've been talking for quite some time now. Yeah. Let's um, go. Cool. We'll report back in a little bit. All right. See how our first couple chapters are. I don't know. How long do we read for until we report back? I don't know. A while, until we have thoughts and opinions, I guess. Okay, we'll see where we're at. All right. Cool. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> good. All right, we're, we're into it. We. Oh, you already started. I already started. We just finished chapter one. We both immediately were like, oh, Dylan's dying. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> oh Dylan. And he just... He just died. Yeah, he just he's gone. I mean, maybe he comes back. I doubt yeah, it. I doubt it. I, I did, right? Because we like kind of talked about it. We're like, oh, yeah. Dylan's dead. And then I was like, okay, like maybe not right now, but yeah. like in this book, he's yeah. dying. But like, no, he right now. Also, if I, he doesn't come back, maybe people that have already, if you've read this, you're like, who the fuck is Dylan? He's that guy at the beginning. Who falls. Who on falls. The, on the bridge. And he starts off and he's like, He's I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be the end of the Like, oh, you're dead immediately. I did think that someone was gonna die on the yeah. bridge. Someone had to die. They talked so much about it. Yeah, if they someone didn't. Had to die on the yeah. bridge, but dang, quick, and quick. Uh, and uh, what's his name? Zayden. Zayden Trouble with a capital T. <laughs> uh, she's in for a treat, I think. <laughs> Great first chapter, I gotta say. Yeah, like, really set a whole lot up. Yeah, I always feel like no matter the book, we were talking about fantasy, like it's just yeah. a little bit more work to be like, okay, where are we? What's the world? Like you're learning all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the best first chapters I feel like I've read for a fantasy yeah. book. I like how everything just kicks off yeah, right away. Yeah, it just like kicks off. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times you do like a lot of yeah. setup. We've already met the love and, interest. Yeah. Amazing. Well, we assume, we don't know. With a description like that. With a description like that, <laughs> hot as hell. What did she say? I can't remember, but yeah, it's, it's, that's a love mm -hmm. interest story. But yeah, I think great first chapter. I'm, I'm in. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm in too. Excited. On to chapter two. That, a long chapter. It's yeah. only 20 pages, but like these pages are long. Yeah, it was. Oh my God, have we read for like an hour? No. It feels like we read for a minute. Well, no, we were chatting. A we lot chatted too, a lot. But, yeah. I was before we started clock. reading. I don't remember when we. It was definitely six something. We took a while to pick point. music that we yeah, were going to listen to. We had to re review the whole Shatter Me series. <laughs> we did. We had to review. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, so we've probably only been reading for like 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> but probably. it feels like it's been a while. Also, yeah. just so much happened in that chapter. I'm like, wow, yeah. I must have been reading for yeah. like 45 yeah. minutes. A lot happened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm into it. Okay. We love All right, it. Back at it. So we got to chapter. Was that four? Four. Was four I think. Um, chapter five. We are. Oh, is, is where we stopped. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're into it. Or at least I am. I'm super into it. Yeah. yeah. I guess I can. Yeah. I was like, okay, you're not even in it. As uh, previously mentioned, love the school vibes. Love like, school vibes. Love school vibes. Um, it's like there's a lot of like tense moments already where you're yeah. like. I just met these people and I'm like excited or scared mm -hmm. or like, I don't know. She did a really good job pulling us in. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, already invested. I'm into Zayden. I'm like, I, I guess what I'm not taking seriously right now, because what just happened is that like at the end of chapter four, uh, he sees her and Dane like talking and Dane's like, he could kill you right now. So run. And I'm like, oh, he's not going to kill her, but I'm, I'm having a hard time like, understanding that it, that it is that cutthroat. Um, yeah. Even like, obviously like, I'm also like, he's not gonna hurt her because they're gonna end up together. I agree. I feel like yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, he's not gonna kill her because he, they're gonna be in love. Yeah. <laughs> however, right. however, I feel like if we see him kill someone else, yeah, but like, you're right. It is that cutthroat. And I think, I assume that yeah. will be woven in. But yeah, um, love triangle. We are just like, have we like, okay, here's a question for you. 10 years, not even 10 years ago, I don't know. Eight years ago, you're reading this book. Mm -hmm. Do you know they're getting together? I don't Who? think I would. Uh, Zayden and- Yeah, and Violet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think like so. Like when we read Shatter Me. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if I knew that her and Warner were gonna get together. You That's know what I mean? true. I'm like, if you read this before you read, like at that time in your life. Yeah. Were you like, I feel like now we're just like, oh, this is happening. Right. Like we know it, but I like- think 
it, since she described him as so beautiful and yeah. like you know i don't know like the beauty descriptor is like yeah. a giveaway and how she's like not just beautiful but like he's like sinfully gorgeous and makes you want to do bad <laughs> things or whatever she said like versus i'm thinking like juliet with warner she's like oh he's gorgeous but i fucking hate him and i love yeah. adam you know like there's definitely like yeah. she's like attracted to him and doesn't want to be and the fact yeah. that like he's always like looking at her and they're always like they're staring yeah, at each other and with other. like death looks but you're like no they're like yeah taking each other's clothes yeah. off but looking. i guess you are right i guess yeah maybe back in the day i would have just assumed that he was the bad was guy just the bad guy yeah but that's it before you knew how hot villains are. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, like, they introduced yeah. him. And we were like, oh. Well, no, it was the sister. The sister goes, oh, yeah, stay, stay away. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Like, like boning. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. Love Dane. <laughs> um, yeah, Dane is a sweetheart. It's super cute. Um, I was telling Megan, though, I feel like the thing's going to be, this is like, a cute angle. Sorry. Zayden is gonna like understand how strong Violet is and Dane is gonna like stay of like, you're yeah. weak, we have to get you out of here. And she's gonna be like, no, I am strong. I can you, do things. You literally said that. And then it went into him trying to sneak her out to the spider. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, you crushed it. Like he's literally like, get out of here, like yeah. scram. But yes, agreed. I, I just think that has to be it. Yeah. Like when she makes her choice. Yes. She's gonna yeah. have a relationship with Dane, then the stuff with Zayden's gonna start, and then when she has to decide, she's gonna be like, Zayden lets me be powerful, yeah. he lets me be me. What I'm curious is that- shatter me exactly. I know, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I oh will say God. it is very tropey. But yeah, I love, very tropey, I love that shit. we love shit. our tropes. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to see if anything will happen actually between her and Dane, or if it's just gonna be like sexual tension or whatever, and then she's gonna like hook up with Zayden, and Dane's mm. gonna be like, that guy? Like, are you fucking kidding me? And yeah, maybe... and then will she start a relationship? Like, who will yeah. she, I think she'll be with Dane first. You think, you think they're gonna hook up? I think, they have to, I think. Ooh. She was naughty talking to him. She's so naughty. It was funny because it's like she's like weak. And, yeah. and like they were just saying she's weak, but you didn't hear her speak to people that much. Like truly, no, it was yeah. just like other people saying she's weak and you're getting her narration. Yeah. And then in her first conversation with him, she was so s sassy and naughty spicy. and spicy. And um, yeah, I feel like we're not really getting that outside of conversations because we were just not seeing her talk to other people. Yeah, we really haven't but, seen her. Yeah, like she doesn't really interact with other people. No. That's and so true. I didn't yeah, even realize Other than that. him. And then you're like, yeah. oh, she's so, like, it like takes you aback. Yeah. Like her, but like, I'm like, I don't see her talk to anyone else. So yeah. you're just, anyways, I'm excited to get more of her character out of yeah. as we go. But I'm really I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. to keep reading it. But we just, we did, oh, yeah. do you have anything else to say? No, I think that's it. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, we decided to pause here. Yes. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to be in the rest of the reading vlog. <laughs> I really like reading with you because yeah. it's also helpful. I am so bad at like paying attention to descriptions. Mm -hmm. in books so i've a few times looked to megan i'm like what's going on right now like what where are they yeah. what it's room are they in what's yeah i also have my e-reader and you have the physical book and mm -hmm. i for the e-reader it's like hard to go back and look at the map and yeah. it's a lot easier on your book but it is really fun yeah. reading the same book and like actively mm -hmm. talking about it yeah um, i really really like it it's making yeah. this very special oh my god we've had just the best thanksgiving the best we're so time. thankful so thankful we're done reading we're done. for the night we're gonna watch theater camp yeah, we want to watch theater camp on Hulu. Oh, I didn't know that's where it was. I, I think it's on Hulu. <laughs> you got it. Do you get an Do you get an ad for Hulu now that I said that? All right. Thanks, Katie's channel, for letting me be part of this. <laughs> See you sometime in the future. Hiya. It's been a long time since I have read this this little puppy. It is December thirteenth, and I just decided to dive back in today. I've read, I don't know, 30 pages today, and I'm not like super into it, but again, I've only read 30 pages, so I think I'm being a little bit harsh. One thing that is kind of wild to me still is how I get that this guy is like, it's crazy, you know, like y you have to be super tough and you have to survive in order to get to like the, I just don't get the like, surviving your fellow students, like classmates, the other cadets. I just don't get why that is allowed for other people at the war college to kill each other. You're all there for the same reason, right? Like to go into war together. So shouldn't the whole thing be like focusing on teamwork? And yes, like you have to be tough for the dragon. So, you know, yes, there should be like assessments with 
your combat skills, but like I just read when they're doing the like combat assessment and Jack kills another first year and they're just like, well, that's a bummer. Like, <laughs> should, is he gonna get like any reprimand there? Because like this just seems insane to me. Like there has to be some rules, right? Also Violet and her thing with Imogen, like did they not see her pull the knife? Did she get reprimanded for using her like magic during it? I just don't really get why there seemingly is like no consequences for brutally attacking the people that you might end up, you know, being in a war with. What is that called? Your fellow like soldiers. I just don't really get that. Maybe that'll make sense later on, or maybe it's just to add to the drama. I think I just have to let it go. One thing though, that after this scene of seeing her get mended and everything, I'm starting to wonder like, is she, is her signet, that's what it's called, right? Her like special magic from her dragon. Like, is she gonna be one of the like menders? Because they said that that's like super rare. And I feel like she has to have like a, a rare power when she gets it. I mean, maybe not, but like, I feel like that's just, you know, she's the protagonist. She's gotta have a rare power. And since she is so like breakable, I feel like it would make sense that then it's like almost like a full circle moment. I could see that happening. I want that to happen. I love a good healer. I think that they're the best. So that's that. I'm just feeling a little bit like lost and with all like the war stuff, I'm kind of just hoping that we don't focus like a whole lot on the war. Cause like I'm in it for just like the magic and the romance. And like whenever stuff about like battle plans comes up and like they went over the the ward over the mountains and trying to keep track of where certain like cities are. I'm like, I don't, that's going right over my head. So might need to do some rereading. We'll see. But for now, that's the update. I am gonna keep on reading until, you know, I have something to update you with. Okay, bye. Okay, so I stopped reading last night. I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. Um, but I'm reading tonight and I'm about, I just finished chapter eight. So Violet's been fucking with everyone, um, like making everyone sick so that she can win uh, the little fights. Not little fights, I mean people are dying in them. And she like, went too far with one girl and now she she's gonna fight Satan. I'm so I'm so good I'm so I'm so excited. Finn, are we excited? Finn, please <laughs> He's so over me. Alright, so that fight scene was hot. That was great. I'm super into Zayden. Big shocker, I like the love interest. I also loved Violet's like inner monologue while that was happening, where she's like, I don't I don't like toxic men. She's like, but this is, God damn it, this is really getting me. I have conflicting thoughts about Dane. Like, he's boring, but like I, <laughs> which is bad to say, like his whole, I get, I get his concern. I think that's where I'm like conflicted because like, I, I just wanna be annoyed with him and like mad on Violet's behalf. But I mean, he is right. I mean, she, if she is like breaking bone, I, I get like, if you're someone's like really good friend and you know that the person didn't even wanna be in this, like, to, like it wasn't their dream to become a writer, then like, I would also be like, honey, let's get you out of here. I don't understand, like, why are you, why are you so hell bent on this? Like it, the stakes are so fucking high. I mean, literally it's you either graduate or you die. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna test this out. So like, I get that. I really do get where he's coming from. And yet I'm annoyed with him <laughs> because you know, we want, we want, we want the Zayden like, you know, teach her, don't protect her. But I mean, I get him wanting to protect her. Okay, I don't really know what I'm even fucking talking about anymore. I gotta keep on reading. I feel like my eyes are starting to like really fade out on me. Um, it's 1040, it's not even that late. So I, I don't really know what's going on. I think I've just had my makeup on for too long, which is, you know, we love filming when things have just kind of settled and are um, smeared. That's always great for my ego when I start editing. They're doing the gauntlet now, which I don't really remember what it is. Just another event? I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, I just want more Zayden and Violet scenes. So I'm I'm ready for it. Okay, bye. I'm so disappointed in myself. They're having a little like uh they're having a, 
a discourse, a bit of an argument before doing the gauntlet. I don't understand if they're doing the gauntlet or practicing for the gauntlet, but, uh, you know, there's like the jackasses that are like, you're sleeping with Dane, whatever. And they're like, you're lucky that Dane isn't here. And Violet says, true, Dane would more than take exception to Tynan's, Tynan's assumptions and probably assign him cleanup duty for a month. Good thing he's on the flight field this time of day. Zayden would just beat the shit out of him. The way my heart fluttered. <laughs> like, no, that is not, that's not attractive, Katie. And yet it is in books. Why is it attractive in books? Okay, so they just did their presentation, which I really love that it's just like a little parade um, for them to talk in front of the dragons. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, I'm gonna be shocked if Violet, I don't know why I almost said Ruby. <laughs> if Violet doesn't bond with the feather tail, the little guy. Um, I also felt so bad for that dragon when they were all just like talking shit. Wait, like, it, like oh, it's so weak. It, why is it even here? Blah, blah. I'm like, it's a fucking, one, it's a fucking dragon. Like, it's badass no matter what. But two, also like, I was kind of confused because they're supposed to be talking so the dragons can like get to know them. So why are certain people being absolute dicks? Like, wouldn't you wanna, I don't know. I, I just, I didn't understand that. But anyway, that was fun, kind of funny. Uh, loved the green dragons sniffing her. Um, and now I, I think it's time for the, for the threshing. I think it's time for the threshing which is gonna be a great time. Okay, I know I'm like, I'm updating so much, but I'm just having so much fun. So, okay, I'm I'm letting go of my disbelief right now because like, they, would they really kill a dragon? You know, that just seems kind of nuts that they wanna go and kill the little guy. Like, just go off, why? Why? I don't understand. But Zayden just showed up, but I'm so excited. Oh my God, okay. So, it was, she's not, she's not with the golden one. What is, what the fuck is the golden one? Is it like Taryn's little, little buddy, little pet? I don't, it's so fucking cute. I don't know what's happening, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving, I'm loving like the banter between Violet and Taryn. I have no idea how to say like any of the names that he spewed out when he was like, this is my full name, I'm the son of this, and I come from, I'm like, that's that's that TikTok of the like, you know, reading a fantasy novel and it's like, -na 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 -na. yeah, we just moved past it. I'm fucking loving this. The dragon's muttering, it's, it's fucking amazing. I love this. All right, I, I don't, I don't get Dane anymore. He can fuck right off. The, the most powerful dragon chose her. And he's like, no, 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 no. You, you go with, you go with, and, and Darna. Because you're gonna have to choose. Fuck this guy. I was like into him, sort of, and now I fucking hate him. Like, bitch, she made it. Just leave, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, I had to change because I was starting to overheat. Segale and Taren are a mated pair, and now, and now. Zayden's coming in to the conversation. Oh my god. I, I, I love this book. Hello! Okay, a lot a lot has happened since we last checked in, but I just I was just like looking really rough and felt insecure. I really looked rough through this entire vlog. But uh I didn't feel like filming it, so I took a lot of notes. I'm gonna share my thoughts with you now while I cook myself dinner. I'm making myself a meatloaf. It is my grandmother's recipe, but I don't eat meat. So we're doing a Beyond Beef plant-based meatloaf. I'm so afraid that this is just going to keep on going out of focus. Please focus on me. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm going to try to multitask. I'm not a very good multitasker though. So we'll see how this goes. So last we spoke, the um, threshing had happened. She got, you know, picked by Tiern. And and Darna, you know, Zayden, they're <laughs> I just love this setup of them having to spend time together because of their dragons. Like that is fucking brilliant. I love it. So what has happened? She got attacked, which was great. I mean not great, but like great because we love conflict. So it looks like my what is going on with my blush? 
I think this is just my cheeks right now. I don't really know what's happening. Okay, we saw her got attacked, which was like upsetting, but great. Loved the ability to stop time. Loved Zayden coming in and killing everyone. Brutal. Hot. Amber getting incinerated was pretty crazy. It was very sad. Uh, like not about Amber, cause she sucked, but her dragon. That was very upsetting. We have so much to talk about. I really, I should have just fucking filmed. Um, I'm so sorry, bear with me. So, okay, they, they kissed. That has happened. And that was, that was great. The whole like, uh, you know, I almost, why don't you want to say dinosaur? Dragon sex thing? is interesting. Also like love Zayden being like, you know what? You like think that you want this, but you like, and we know that she really would want it, but he's like, you cannot consent to this right now because our dragons are having sex. I also just am fucking obsessed with Violet and how she is just so upfront, like with herself of how much she wants Zayden. And like, I don't know why it's feeling so refreshing because I feel like that's, that's not abnormal, but maybe it is. Like, I don't know why I'm having a hard time like thinking about other books. Like, how do they realize that they're attracted to someone? But maybe it's just the fact that like she, she's so aware of like, he's so hot and I would climb him like a tree. Like I would fuck him into next week if given the chance. <laughs> I just really, I really am enjoying Violet. And I don't know why I like didn't, I guess I didn't know if I would because I just haven't heard people like talk about Violet. But to be fair, I also have tried to stay away from fourth wing stuff because I was like, I don't want to see anything until I read it. Even though I have been spoiled about the Liam thing, but that's really it. Just Liam. I guess technically I was spoiled about Tarn um, cause I saw like a, an Instagram picture of Violet and Taryn, but I didn't remember that until after they got matched up. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I did see something about that. Very excited to see what her signet ability is going to be. I forgot that her brother was a mender. So I don't think that she's going to be a mender, me mender. Um, although that would be like sweet. She was the same thing that her brother was, but I just don't, I mean, I think that it's gotta be something new. Where I just left off, I guess I should tell you that. I left off, she was talking with Liam and cause she knows that she's gonna fight Jack. So she was like, can you keep a secret safe? Um, and he's like, well, it depends what it is. But like, I'm like, is she gonna get her signet while facing off against Jack? I just feel like Jack is gonna have to be her first kill. And I feel like it would make sense on the mat since they don't fucking care if anyone dies. Um, but maybe that's not like climatic enough. I don't know, but. And maybe she'll get her signet ability facing off against Jack. He's just, he's gotta die. And I think that it's gotta be Violet that kills him. Cause it's just been such a thing that he wants to kill her. It's like, there's no way that he can live. And it's also been a thing that, you know, she's like gotta, she's gotta get used to the killing. Like when Amber got incinerated, you know, she was like, no, like, please no. Um, but speaking of Amber, we have to talk about Dane and how much he sucks. Cause he just does. I get why he was like, didn't want to believe about Amber because obviously they had like been together, but also like, dude, like Violet is apparently your best friend. So this whole like, no, 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 no. Like, let me look at your memories, blah, blah, blah. It, speaking of which, I, the whole face touching thing, he wants to touch her face. Not what he does touch her face all the time. And I also know that that's how he looks at memories. So I don't know if he's just like a touchy feely guy or if this is like foreshadowing for something else. I mean, I guess we'll find out. I mean, if it is something, we'll find out. If it's nothing and it's just me being, you know, whatever, then it won't be mentioned. But he's just, he's just the worst, man. And like, I'm conflicted because I can't tell if this is getting into like slander territory, you know, where it's like, this is getting like over the top of kind of like what happened with Adam in Shatter Me where like we thought we thought he was good and then he just became like a big like bitch but kind of like with shatter me is it just you know violet's opinion of him is changing and obviously it's from her pov so now his flaws are just becoming more apparent because i guess yeah technically technically his his stance has not changed the entire time he's been like i just want to protect you i want to keep you safe so his whole like bullshit about like, you know, stay quiet, don't bring attention to yourself. And you know, I don't know, just him being an annoying little pussy ass bitch is, 
I guess making sense with the character. I don't I would love to know your thoughts about that. If you think that like if Rebecca Yaros is doing a great job or this is seeming kind of sudden and maybe it's just because that I thought that I liked him. So I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't know. But anyway, Dane sucks. And I'm glad that Violet is also like, you kind of suck. <laughs> I'm glad that she's not making too many excuses for him. I will say what's been really fun during this reading process is, well, this book has, it feels like it's been out for forever. It's really only been out since, I think like April or May, but like since it's been so popular, you know, it's just everywhere. So like I've seen, um, also wait, speaking of which, that's like fucking insane. This came out in April or May of this year, of 2023, and she already released the sequel. <laughs> like, bitch, how? Especially with a fantasy book? Like, I, I mean, not to say that like one book is harder than another, but you know, just with fantasy, there's like a lot going on versus like a contemporary something. Also, these books are long. I just don't, I don't understand how that was possible. Maybe that shows in Iron Flame, I don't know. We'll see, but just like props to her. That's incredible. Um, but okay, th this, I've, this has been everywhere. So I've seen a lot of like quotes and getting them to read those quotes is just so fun. Like I finally got to read Zayden saying like, I am annoyingly aware of everything you do. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm part of the group. I'm a part of it. I read the same quote because I've just seen that everywhere. So that's been fun for me. I keep on like looking at my book notes as if it's the recipe and I, I cannot multitask. I don't know how much parsley. It's supposed to be fresh parsley, but I really hate chopping herbs, you know? I think that that's all I really wanted to talk about. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. And it's one of those things like, when you are loving something so much. And I think I'm just gonna love it. I mean, who knows? Maybe this really crashes and burns at the end. But since I'm having so much fun, it's just like crazy to me that people hate this book so much. And I know everything's subjective to each their own, blah, blah, blah. But just, I am having such a fun time. So when I hear people be like, I fucking hated this book. This was horrible. I'm like, but didn't you have fun? <laughs> just, I got different strokes for different folks. That's such a weird saying. I don't know where your mind goes, but mine always goes to a sexual place. And I don't think that's what's supposed to be happening. I just always think of like giving someone a hand job. And like, when I say it, that's not what I'm meaning because I know it's just a saying, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, I'm gonna finish cooking my dinner. Probably gonna shower um, and uh, read. Keep on reading, you know? Have a have a grand old time. Thanks for listening. And I'll I'll check in later. Hello. Been a little bit since I've checked in. I'm also filming this on my phone, so sorry for the decrease in quality, but I am so cozy right now and I can't be bothered to grab my camera that is far away from me right now. <laughs> okay, I things have happened since we last checked in. She got her power. Woo! She's lightning. That's awesome. That's a fun power. Um, I kind of wish that we had seen Jack die in a more intimate way. Like, is it like if she had like stabbed him or something? Because I just feel like he was just such a villain that like I feel like him dying like far away made it feel kind of like it almost didn't happen in a way. Which maybe that sounds fucked up that I like want to see the life leave his eyes. Liam didn't die. Liam does die, right? Like I'm certain I saw that on Instagram, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe that happens in Iron Flame. Time will tell. Um, they hooked up, intercourse happened, and that was, that was very fun. I love that they like couldn't find a location, um, but I am a little bit confused. Like, why didn't you just go to the bed? Like it was right there. It's not like they were like, far away or anything. I love how they tried the desk, then the armoire, then the curtains, and finally the floor. Um, I also really liked that even though they're like this, you know, we can't be in a relationship, they still treated each other with such respect and care. Um, Cause I feel like a lot of times in books and obviously too, like in real life, if you're like going about having a hookup, even though I know this is gonna be more than a hookup, but like if you're thinking like, we, we just gotta have sex. Like, I feel like a lot of times there's not then like care put into treat, like treating that other person with 
care and respect. It's almost like, oh, well, thanks for the orgasm, bye. Maddie draws back talks about this a lot on her channel, but it's like so fucked and weird of like, clearly you like this person enough to have sex with them. So like treat them like you like them, like you would with anyone else, like whatever. I just really liked that even though right now they're like, no, we're not together. This was just sex uh, that, you know, he still stayed over and they were very kind to each other and he left her flowers. Like it was just, I just loved that. Okay, I'm gonna get back to reading and I will check back in later. I am so obsessed with Violet. The scene that I just read where Zayden comes into her room after she did her training, which is also so funny. Um, when he like sent her memories of the night before and the professor's like, see, I told you people overheat. Meanwhile, she's just like horny as hell. Um, but he comes in and you know, there's whatever, he's helping her clean up the mess from last night. And he's like, well, we can do some other stuff. And she's like, look, um, I like, if we continue to have sex, I'm gonna fall for you. And you said that uh, you don't want that. So have you changed your mind? And he's like, no, that can't happen, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I deserve more than a relationship that's only on his terms. She's just so upfront of like, hey, I want you. And I know that you want me too, but clearly you're not there yet. So no, we're not gonna have sex because um, you don't get to dictate how I feel. And if we do have sex, then I will fall for you. I don't, I don't know, I just I liked it. I just really respect her for being open with her feelings and vulnerable and also not, you know, just like giving into desire, but like respecting her own boundaries. I am obsessed with her. <laughs> She's so great. So they're doing war games and I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just kind of getting the vibe. I'm getting the from Blood and Ash vibe, you know, that like, um, so something, I mean, something else is going on. I mean, obviously. Zayden's up to some funny business. The fact that he like freaked out before Violet went to his armoire. Um, and she was like, I'm not gonna snoop through your stuff. I'm like, maybe you should snoop through his stuff. I just feel like he's gonna betray her, but like, it's because, I mean, her Navarre fucking sucks. I'm like, there's definitely something else going on, you know? You know, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I've just made such a big deal about like, you know, her trusting Zayden and you know, Dane's like, don't go. Like, I don't, I, we don't trust him. And she's like, no, he's never given me any reason not to. So I just feel like there's something else going on. I'm also like, is Brennan alive? <laughs> I, okay, I've got a lot of questions. <laughs> the betrayal has begun. I mean, I don't know if I want to say betrayal, but I mean, I'm starting chapter 35. She just, you know, the Griffin writers just showed up and everyone's like, I'm so sorry about it. And she's like, why the fuck is everyone apologized to me? What the hell is going on? So let's see what's going on. I fucking, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Dane with his, like, why, why are you always touching her face? Obviously, obviously. I don't get why Violet didn't get that. Like, did he always touch you like that when you were like growing up? I don't know if one of my friends just started touching my face all the time after telling me that they have to touch someone to get their memories. I'd be like, dude, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so Dane sucks. I'm gonna need more clarification on his character, I think, because how can he be like, you're my best friend and I love you, but I'm gonna betray you and I'm gonna let you die? I don't know about that. Okay, well, we can just go with he sucks. He doesn't know what real love is, clearly. I finished. Bitch, I knew Brennan was alive. So fuck it, what, what did Liam say? Whatever he was, I don't know. What, he says something, I am so fucking tired. Okay, wow, that was great. I feel like I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> that got so intense, but it was really good. I did cry when Liam died, which I was very upset with myself about. I was like, you knew you shouldn't get attached to him. But I wasn't expecting that it was gonna be his dragon that died, that then caused him to die. It just didn't seem fair. God, I wanna start Iron, F Iron Flame right now, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Um, I'm gonna read these acknowledgements because I always say, oh wait, I forgot there's bonus content. All right, there's chapter nine from Zayden's point of view, and I think chapter 16 from his point of view. All right, I'm gonna read that. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Wow. 
I loved, I loved this. This is five stars, easy, easily. God, it was so good. I'm really excited for Zayden to earn back her trust. I don't know, like, I, I, I understand why she's upset, but like, I don't, I, Maybe I don't really, like I do, but I don't. Cause she's like, I get why you didn't tell me. I really do. But then she's like, but you did it so easily. I'm like, how do you know if you did it easily? I don't know. Maybe we'll get more. I mean, this is also from his point of view. Like when she was explaining it. So I'm sure we'll find out more in Iron Flame. You know why she's really hurt. Loved it, obsessed with it. Finally part of, finally part of the gang. Uh, which, which feels good, um, being a part of the cultural f phenomenon that is this book. But it's time for me to sign off. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this point, what a ride. I don't think I'm gonna vlog Iron Flame, but time will tell. For now, that's gonna be it for me. And I, I hope you're doing great. Please leave all the fangirling in the comments below. <laughs> I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Also, if you hated it, let me know why. But please don't be too mean. <laughs> I'm gonna sign off. I I gotta, I'm just repeating myself. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.